You ever watch a trailer and you say, nah, that's not for me. Well, this film, I really was surprised by it. And honestly, it's the dark horse of the year so far for me. Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Ryan, and today on the channel, I'm going to be talking about a comedy drama film called Wicked Little Letters. Now, this film is directed by Thea Chirac, and she's done two other films I've seen before, one being Me Before You, and the other one is The One and Only Ivan. Now, this film, it stars Jesse Buckley, Olivia Coleman, Timothy Spall, and Anjana Vassan. Now, this film, it's about a conservative local woman who lives in a town called Little Hampton, and she starts to receive threatening letters filled with profanities in a hilarious fashion and there's an underlying mystery as to who's writing them. Going into Wicked Little Letters, I honestly was not really looking forward to this movie. I honestly was kind of dreading it in a way. I really didn't think it would be something that I would really like. And I think that's one of those things that I need to really leave at the door before I see a film because sometimes you watch a film like this and it completely surprises you. And it takes me back to a few years ago when Miss Harris Goes to Paris came to theaters and I was like, I don't know if I would really like this, but it turned out to be one of my favorite films of the year. And I have to say with this one, this is definitely in my top for the year. Wicked Little Letters, it takes place in the 1920s and right off the bat, what I liked about this film, obviously the way that it was shot. So it takes place in this really small town and even though it's not in America, it feels like a very cozy town, inviting, kind of low on the politics, warm and just fuzzy and it feels like a town that you'd want to pass through maybe learn about the history of the small town and i'm sure all the people are really nice when you would go to said town like this in a small town like this so i really did enjoy that whole aspect of the film now you have this family you have a woman named edith played by olivia coleman and she has her father there and they have these letters that they're receiving and there's a bunch of profanities within these letters and they're very uptight they want to go down the constable they want to report it and they want to figure out who's actually writing these letters. It's an exceptionally funny film. Jessie Buckley, she just has me dying laughing throughout this film. I really think that she is an underrated actress. I feel like any movie that I've seen her in, even if I don't like the movie, she always puts on a very good performance and she just had me laughing throughout this film. She just has no filter on her. She will say whatever's on her mind and does not care. And I can understand why she's a suspect here because some some of the things that are actually being said during these letters and they're reading them out loud, I was just like, wow, this is pretty crazy. And it's just really funny watching Edith's family actually freak out about these letters. The town, they take them very serious. The police, they take it very serious. But at the same time, they don't really do much of an investigation. And that's really what this film really focuses on, an investigation as to who actually wrote these letters. And they put the blame on their neighbor, played by Jesse Buckley. It's a very cheeky and quirky film and I did like the fact that they actually flesh out the lead characters as well as the supporting characters. A character that I liked besides Jesse Buckley was Gladys Moss played by Injani Vassan. Now she is this woman cop who is helping with the investigation and she's taking it a step further as the men cops they really don't do much of an investigation here but she actually wants to stand up and actually do a proper investigation and she's being dismissed throughout this film with the men cops so you can tell during these times that a woman cop like herself even though she's in the force she's not well respected and women don't really have much of a voice actually working in the squadron so because she doesn't have much of a voice i love that she stood up for herself and really took charge and actually wanted to do a thorough investigation and an honest one at that timothy spall plays the overbearing father who is really about his religion and his way or the highway type way and it really goes into commentary about people that are really into religion and how religion can sometimes crack someone because when you have so much set of rules and you're really strict about said religion and you can't do this or that, sometimes that can really make someone crack. And you really see that within this film because it really goes into those ways of how Christian religion and how those kind of strict kind of rules can really affect people mentally. Majority of the time throughout this film duration, I had a smile on my face. Throughout the entire film, I was just enjoying the witty dialogue and enjoying each character go through the 
the motions and really making this story come to life. If I have any negatives to actually add, I would say that I wish we got to see a little bit more of the cinematography. At parts, it's a little bit plain, but there were shots where I was like, yeah, I like how this was shot, but I wish we got a little bit more maybe of the town. And I also thought when they actually revealed who was behind writing these letters, I thought it was a little bit premature that they actually revealed that. So the film is an hour and 45 minutes, and we find out about 55 minutes in, which we still go a little bit deeper into the movie of what is actually going on beyond actually finding out. But at the same time, I just thought it was a little bit early to actually reveal that. With all that said, though, when it really comes down to it, I really enjoyed myself with this film. I was laughing. I was smiling. I was enjoying all the characters, and I was just enjoying a really good time with this film and just learning about this investigation and even learning the fact that this is based on a true story. So I'm really interested to actually check out the true story and what actually went down and you know what's actually true to what's going on in this movie and maybe what they added and maybe what they forgot as well. So I always love when they actually do true stories like this and just kind of inform us about something that we probably wouldn't have known about. So as far as the score for this film, I would give it a four out of five. I think overall it's a pretty solid film. Had me laughing, had a good time with the performances, and Jessie Buckley, she's an underrated actress that I love to see on screen. But I want to hear from you guys. What did you guys think about this film? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Are you going to check it out in a theater? Or are you going to wait for streaming? Or are you going to skip it altogether? Leave any and all comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.